Hi everyone! Thank you for clicking on my video. Today I'm going to be doing my long-awaited, at least for me it's been long-awaited, ready to be photo card storing video. In case you missed it, I am collecting OT9 for ready to be, just like how I did for between one and two. And if you remember back from between one and two, I made an entire video dedicated to storing all of my between one and two photo cards. So I wanted to do the same thing for ready to be. So I, instead of, you know, putting them away in like my storing photo cards videos, I saved them all up. Um, and actually, hold on. Two whole bins, boxes, whatever, of cards. I really wanted to have this done like a month ago, but I was having trouble with some cards. Pretty sure one person scammed me, another thing got lost in the mail. It was just a whole big ordeal and it took forever, but I finally have everything. It's all in these boxes. Not only this, but I'm also gonna be putting away a couple of inclusions today. Not everything, but a couple things. This is my normal twice binder that you see in all my storing photo cards videos. This has the story begins all the way through um, formula of love, or I guess pop is the last thing in here. It got too full, or it was getting too full, so I had to break it up into a separate binder, which is this binder here. So this is going to be between one and two forward until this binder gets too small, or too big. No, too small. This binder, sorry, there's cat hair all over my desk, I'm sorry. This binder is my extra twice binders, so all my pre-order cards, all my extra album cards, whoa. Album cards, unit cards, non-album cards, and big inclusions are in this binder. Oh, I have three twice binders. I'm going to be dealing with just these two today, though. So I grabbed like a million nine pocket pages because I don't know how many I'm going to need. To start off with, we're actually going to go to the way back. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, let's take it one at a time. Okay, 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 okay. So, I'm not collecting OT9 for the big inclusions, just the photo cards. However, I did open all nine digipacks. And actually, I did that on an Instagram live, so. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, sometimes I go live on there, like, once a month. Not very often. But anyway, I opened, or I unboxed all my digipacks on my Instagram. And I pulled eight out of the nine postcards. And then I think I pulled like six out of the nine stickers. And since the stickers fit in top letters anyway, I don't normally care about the conclusions like that. But since it was going to be so easy, I decided to just collect OT9 for the Digipack inclusions. I'm not collecting OT9 for their postcards, though, for, like, the photo book. These are the six members I pulled in my unboxing, if you'll remember. But I did end up trading for all of the members I needed. And I've been, like, storing them away off camera. But I decided for each of the last ones I needed, I was going to put them away in this video. Just so you could kind of see, like, my OT9 big inclusions collection. Because I don't normally... Do that. It is an age order. So nine Jungin Momo Sana Dio Mina Dian Chang Jui. These two have to share one because this is an eight pocket page, which is a little bit unfortunate. But these don't fit in nine pockets, so you gotta do what you gotta do. The only reason I decided to collect OT9 for this, hello, was because I pulled eight of the nine of these anyway, and all I needed was Chewies. And actually, I bent it on accident, but whatever. Um, and I think I'm just gonna put her. Or should I do? Do the same thing again and do like two in the same because should i do that is that ugly yeah that's so ugly what am i thinking i'm just gonna put her behind tail okay so yeah there's my ot9 inclusions for the digipack so that's kind of fun i'm gonna move back to the front these are all my pre-order card sets this is where whoa this is where we left off with the last album. There are three pre-order sets. Here they are. In my Between 1 and 2 video, actually, I didn't put these away on camera because I didn't really have a dedicated twice binder like this. Like, I used to keep my um, pre-order cards in my extra binder, like my MISC cards binder. Um, but then, you know, a couple months ago, I decided that I wanted these cards to have their own binder. Or not their own binder, but I wanted, like, a dedicated extra twice binder. So I moved them in here, and now I feel like it's organized enough for me to do this on camera. So 
Collecting these was definitely the easiest because you get an OT9 set with every single album. I'm still waiting for them to bring back the selfie um, pre-order cards because... Okay, well, don't get me wrong because I used to be a big non-selfie hater. I don't hate non-selfies that much anymore. Honestly, non-selfies are fine as long as there's <laughs> a little bit of both, a little bit of selfie and a little bit of non-selfie. What I don't like are concept photo cards. Like if it's taken with a professional camera, which doesn't make sense because you would think like it would be the opposite, but I don't know. Um, I just prefer like low quality, <laughs> taken on someone's Samsung Galaxy S4, you know? So at least I am glad that they don't do concept pictures for their pre-order cards, which I don't think they've ever d actually, no, have they? Oh no, wait, their Eyes Wide Open pre-order cards were concept cards. And I think maybe also their Yes or Yes ones were too. I don't know. I don't know, the only, the earliest um, pre-order cards that I have are, I love this one. This one's so funny. Um, the earliest pre-order card set that I have is from Taste of Love. So I've never seen anything from before that, like in person. I've seen them on the internet, obviously, but I think I do want to back collect their pre-order cards. I don't know if I want to do it OT9 or just do my top three um or just do my top two i don't know what i want to do all i know is i want to eventually back collect their pre-order cards i've been looking on makari japan ideally though i just want to buy them in a set like i want to buy all three eyes wide open pre-order sets together so i used to put the group cards like on the back of the matching concept this isn't the matching concept but just for example but then I decided, why don't I just make a group cards page? Because then it fills up more pages and that's funner. And I've already made the spots for these three. So they're going to go here and here and here. And there's the backs. You know what might be fun? Next time they should do unit pre-order cards. No, nope, that's too much. I take it back. I take it back. But like kind of how they did for the digipack the ready to be digi pack they could do that for pre-order cards i don't know the last thing we need is more twice cards to collect though so maybe i take it back but anyway that's the end of this binder this extra twice binder and now um, and actually the only photo cards that are in here are between one and two photo cards because the other binder had room for basically everything else this binder is just going to be between one and two and then obviously ready to be have every single ready to be photo card here what? ready to be photo card here including the ot9 target card set all the digi packs etc i don't know if i grab too many pages or not enough pages we are gonna find out i already have two in here i don't remember why they're in here but so i think i'm gonna follow kind of what i did for between one and two and do like the message cards first and then all the sets and then the target pop so I need to, oh, I guess there's digi packs this time too. I'll do those before the, mm, when, fuck. I'll just do the digi packs after the normal album cards, but before the target pops. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> okay, I think everything should be in order <laughs> if it doesn't fall all out of my hands. The first set is gonna be the scratch card, message card set, not scratch card. It's kind of funny how I was just talking about concept cards and how I don't like concept cards. And here I am putting away concept cards. Scratch cards or message cards being concept cards, I don't have a big problem with. What I don't really like is when like normal album cards are concept cards. For example, Dreamcatcher, half of their album cards are selfies and then the other half are concept cards. And I've every single era, I'm waiting for them to just do a full selfie set for their album cards. And they are having a comeback soon. They are having a comeback. The teaser pictures just dropped last night actually. And I'm so excited. I really hope that <laughs> the photo cards are really cute. Um, you can have short hair, so no matter what, I'm gonna be so excited to collect your cards. I'm sorry to bring up Dreamcatcher in this twice, <laughs> this twice drawing, but since the topic was brought up, yeah, normally I'm not the biggest fan of concept cards. I also am not a huge fan of the fact that Chaeyoung is horizontal and also why does Mayan have like an orange background, but all of the rest of them are like neutral. And now I'm just gonna go in version order so we're gonna do the ready version which is my favorite version um i think i always say this i just always love the colorful version over the like black and white versions or like the neutral versions which don't get me wrong i love the b concept too 
Um, and if I had to say one concept match, like, set me free the most. Oh my god. I would probably say the B version, but maybe that's just because it's like the cover art and stuff, so it's the one that's like most associated with that version, but I don't know. This one's the cutest, and it has the cutest photo cards too. This set and the Digipack set are my favorites. Like this Mina card, are you fucking kidding me? I've seen a lot of other people who've like already completed their OT9 sets or their OT9 collection for Ready to Be, so I've already seen what these cards look like together on a page, but I've never seen it in person. Um, for my card. So this is really exciting. This set to me is like this set from Batum 1 and 2. This is like my favorite OT9 set ever that Twice has ever done. Um, but this one is like the equivalent um, for this album to me. Next are the two versions. Yeah, the two versions. And I know a lot of people for these versions just followed the templates that once Vernon made. Love Once Vernon. I literally use their templates for everything twice related. Um, but I decided for the two sets and the B sets, I was just gonna divide them how I wanted to. And at first I was like, okay, <laughs> how am I gonna do this? But then I decided that I was gonna make one set like the cute cards and then one set like the sexy cards. Um, so this first set is what I decided between their two cards, which one was like cuter and which one was like sexier. And these are the ones that I decided were like the cuter ones. <laughs> I don't think that makes sense, but I know what I mean and that's what really matters. Like for example, Mina's smile in this one versus like her smolder in the second one. I don't know. Because these cards don't really have sets because they're just two random selfies that they took in the same outfits. And Chewies look exactly the same, so it was really just whichever one I wanted on which page. But there's the first one, and then this is gonna be like the sexy set. <laughs> Even though, like I said, most of their cards look basically the same anyway. It's like cute versus cunt, really. They're serving cunt in this, and they're serving cute in those. <laughs> yeah, the two version wasn't really my favorite version, concept-wise. I already kind of dogged on it in the, my unboxing, how this one was like my least favorite version. Um, so I won't get into it again, but... I just think it's boring compared to the other ones. And I know that's kind of the whole point, like that's what they were going for with the whole mature twice concept. Like Semi Free is supposed to be more mature than Talk That Talk as a title track. So they went for like more mature concepts for this album. So like I totally get that, why they had to do it, but I just wish at least if this was the set that only had one set and this set had two, wait. This concept had one set and this concept had two. That's how these two pages turned out. And then I literally did the same thing for the B cards. I did like who looked cuter or which card was cuter. They're gonna go on the first page. Like this is the cutest Jungyeon I've ever seen. My favorite concept for Jungyeon was her B concept. I love the little braids. Oh, I love that literally like all of them have braids. They literally all did braids in their hair for this concept. This card is the one that I think the person scammed me out of. No, wait, is it? Yeah, I'm not really sure. I, all I know is they never sent me any kind of proof of anything, um, and then I never got the mail. So I don't want to say that they scammed me, but, you know, <laughs> if I didn't get any proof, I don't know what I'm supposed to think. But I had to rebuy this card, so this one was, like, the second to last card that I received to finish, like, OT9 for everything, so... That's why this took so long, partly because of this Momo. I think I would have loved this set way more if they all kind of had like, cause like Mina has a really bright blue sky behind her and Nyon kind of has like a, a little bit of a blue sky behind her. Um, and then Chewy, which I'll show in like one second. Oh, you can see her actually. <laughs> um, she has the blue sky behind her. I think I would have loved this set a lot if they all had like blue behind them. I don't know, I think it's like the color thing again. Like I, I prefer photo cards that have bright colors. So yeah, this is supposed to be like the cuter cards. <laughs> Again, some of them are like not cute because like Sana, for example, they she kind of has the same face in both, but it was whatever I decided when I was putting the sets together. And then this is like the the cool or the sexy set because this is young and sexy. And again, for like this set, if they all had like orange in the background, imagine like that they had like a blue set where they all had like the blue sky and then they had a orange set where they all had, is this a wall I'm assuming? They all took it in front of the orange wall. All right, and then this Jihyo card is the last card that I needed to finish OT9. And originally I traded with this person literally the first week that the album came out, but their card got lost in the mail for the longest time. 
Um, and I was so upset that I rebought it. I bought this card twice because I thought it got lost and I really so badly just wanted to finish OT9. So once it had been like a couple weeks since they sent out and I still hadn't gotten it, I like immediately went on Instagram and bought another one. And you know what's so funny is both the one that I thought got lost and the one that I bought arrived on the same day. So I opened the one that I rebought. And I was like, okay, great, now I'm done with OT9, ready to be. And then I opened the other one and I was like, oh my God, this couldn't have come two weeks ago. Um, so that's kind of a funny story. Now I have a duplicate of this Jihyo after all of the trials and tribulations of me not having it. I thought this card was gonna be the death of me, but end this Chewy. I think I still have like two of this Chewy. No, maybe just one, I don't know. I pulled a lot of this Chewy in my unboxing, if you remember. I pulled a lot of Chewy, period, in my unboxing. That is all the normal album photo cards, though. Those are both of the B-sets. Oops. The B-sets. Again, cute. Cunt. So then we have the Digipacks, the Digipack units, and then the Target Pobs, and then we will be done. So these are the Digipack cards. I, well, first of all, I do appreciate how JYP didn't make the Digipacks just a repackage of the concepts that we already had from the photo books because I hate that. I think that any additional versions that a company does for a group should show at least new pictures if it's not gonna be a completely new concept, but I hate when like a version of an album is the same concepts or like pictures that we've already seen in other versions. So for example, for Between One and Two, the complete version was just all three of the versions in one. So when the Digipack was first announced, I just assumed it was going to be like that, where it was just going to be all three of the concepts together. Um, but then when it turned out that it was going to be Moonlight Sunrise concept, I was so excited. I honestly think that the Moonlight Sunrise concept should have been a concept in the photo books because I love these cards. I also wish that they had done, I don't want to say I wish they had done more photo cards. I love their Sunrise version outfits. Like these are the Moonlight version outfits. I love their Sunrise version outfits and they have pops in the Sunrise outfits, just not like normal album photo cards. At this point, it wouldn't have hurt if they did like two Digipack sets and they gave you two photo cards per Digipack. That way you could like, you don't have to like spend any extra money on more digipacks. I love this set. I think it's the pink. The pink is so pretty. But yeah, a sunrise version would have been great. And then I have the units. And so I'm going to put them in like age order, obviously. And what I've seen a lot of people doing is they put the like horizontal one in the middle. But I think that I want to put the like orange background one in the middle because that's the one that stands out to me the most. Um, and then I'll just have like the far away one on the side, which you might not like, <laughs> but I think I like it better if it's pink, orange, pink, as opposed to like close, far, close or vertical, horizontal, vertical. One thing I do wish though with these units also is that they did different units. Like I wish there wasn't three for Na Jung Mo. I wish there was like one for Na Jung Mo and then there was one for Na Sa Ji. Like I wish they switched up like which members were in all the units. So it wasn't three per three three four three three you know what i mean or like for what they did for more and more instead of three people per unit they could have done two people per unit and then everybody got two units this was the last digipack unit card i needed i thought i was never gonna find a trade because i like kept reposting the i think i had an extra of this one um, and no one wanted it i swear but eventually someone reached out and offered me it so and then in this one here yeah, I definitely prefer the orange one or the brown one, whatever color this one is, being in the middle. Another complaint though, I wish that theirs was horizontal so it would match and be consistent, but you can't always get what you want. Okay, last one is the Target Pob set. So obviously if you watch my unboxing, you know I got my cards from Target. So super easy to trade. Well, not super easy, but it was easy to get. Um, these cards just like I did for Between 1 and 2. I was thinking about collecting another OT9 pop set because I've seen a couple other people do that as well. Um, but I don't know, I still might. <laughs> to be honest with you, I still might. I'd have to find one for really cheap on Mercari or something for me to commit to that. But for now, I'm okay with this Target pop set, even though it is a concept set. What can we expect from Target cards? Even though the La Seraphim Target cards are selfies, so I don't know why Twice can't do that. But this is my favorite concept, so I'll cut them a little bit of slack. The cards are really pretty. This Mina might be my favorite one. 
And that's it. I'm gonna take this one out just because it has no business being in here. I'm gonna do a quick flip through. Here we have the message cards from the B version or in the B version. Um, then the ready cards. I have the two cards, other two cards, <laughs> B cards, B cards, Digipack selfie, Digipack unit and target pop and then again if i ever decide to pick up another pop set i'll put that here but now that's my second twice binder because i think i decided a plan for um my twice collection basically i'm going to continue to collect my top three while simultaneously back collecting ot9 so i kind of started out of order because i started with taste of love but after i finish taste of love i'm gonna collect ot9 formula of love while i'm collecting top three for like all eras um and then when i finish formula of love i'll work on eyes wide open and on and on and on until i finish my top three which honestly i wouldn't be surprised if i finish it during formula of love or eyes wide open you know whatever and then at that point once i finish my top three i will have like all these ot9 eras already done like taste of love through ready to be so i don't have to worry about those and then i'll also have three members done so then i'm only worrying about picking up six extra members to complete ot9 for all eras and i've already done it for like six eras because at that point i'll have them like again i would open through ready to be so i think that's my plan for twice my twice collection i'm not gonna pick up my ot9 like full collection anytime soon um it's just gonna be a little bit of back collecting for the time being and that might not even be my permanent plan so don't hold me really don't hold me to that one but i just realized the lighting was so dark in this video so i apologize about that i didn't notice until literally just now so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i've been so excited to put these cards away for so long i hope that you were excited to watch me <laughs> put them away too yeah i think i'll probably just be collecting ot9 twice from all eras forward i always have fun collecting ot9 my next video will hopefully be an unforgiving, un unforgiving, an unforgiven unboxing. But K Town still hasn't shipped out my order, so I don't know when that's gonna be. I thought it was gonna be able to come out like next week from when you're watching this, but if my album still haven't been shipped, I don't know when I'm gonna be able to film it and edit it. So we'll see. I will see you guys all later. Bye.